A boy standing next to a building throws a ball straight up at 8 meters per second. They tell us upwards is positive and then how high can the ball rise? Okay, very basic question. Here we have a little boy playing with the ball, throwing it up into the air. And there the ball goes up into the air until it reaches a maximum height after which it starts falling down again. Okay, now what is that maximum height that it can reach? If they tell us that it was thrown at an initial velocity of how much? 8 meters per second. 8 meters per second. So the ball is thrown up with an initial velocity. It will reach a maximum height as it loses um, momentum or as it is being accelerated downwards. And that constant acceleration is also known as negative 9,8 meters per second squared. Why negative? Well, the question tells us that upwards is positive. We chose upwards is positive, which means anything in the downwards direction is negative. Okay, how high can the ball rise? Well, what else do we know? We need three unknowns, sorry, or three knowns actually, to be able to calculate the unknown of displacement. And please remember, and this is always, you can just assume that if they ask what is the maximum height it can reach, it means that at the end of the journey of go getting to the maximum height, we know the final velocity always at the end of a maximum height journey would be zero meters per second. Now with those three values, we can go use a formula to calculate the change in displacement or that maximum height. So maximum height, there we go. This formula is a very common formula to calculate uh, maximum height of a vertically projected object. We will write down our formula then. Future value squared is the initial value uh, velocity, I mean squared, um, plus 2a delta x. Okay, with that in mind, we'll substitute the values that we do know. We know future velocity is 0 squared, initial velocity is 8 meters per second squared, plus 2 acceleration is negative 9.8, and delta x is what we're trying to calculate. Now, from here on, the uh, simplification is very simple. We subtract the 8 squared on both sides. 8 squared is 64, so on the left-hand side we get negative 64 is equal to, on the right-hand side we have 2 times negative 9 gives me negative 19, 2 times 0 0.8 is, uh, sorry, 2 times negative 9.8 is negative 19.6. I know this because I've done so many of these questions already um, and you'll get very used to that as well when you practice a few. So to solve this thing completely we need to divide both sides with the value 19.6 and that is so that we can get delta x on its own. So dividing with 19.6 on both sides gives me delta x on its own and that means delta x is equal to, we need our calculator for this one, 64 negative divided by 19.6 negative gives me 3.2 Six, five. So I'm going to make it 3,27 since we're rounding to two decimal places, 3,27 meters. That is how high it will rise. I'm not going to input the answers because I'm sure you know how to do that by now.